How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually talk to you about integrating your control drawings in with Metasys. Uh, this is something that can be a very useful tool. Uh, typically when we go out to work on a project to make a repair or something like that, if we need our drawings, uh, depending on how we have those stored, uh, you know, having to go back to your office, your shop, or whatever, and pull those drawings can take a little bit of your time. Uh, also, if you bring in a contractor to do some work on one of your systems as well, uh, if they need access to those drawings, they may find it a little more difficult as well, you know. And uh, there again, you're having to pull drawings manually, and we all know what typically happens to drawings after they have been stored for a good period of time. Uh, so what I wanted to do is show you an example of something that we are uh, doing within our system and we are actually adding our drawings into that system. And the way that we're doing that is I've created a folder upon on the web server, our ADX server and have the control drawings in with it and then I am able to create a link where we can actually access those drawings from any device that has access into MUI. And you can see here I've got a button. I'm simply going to click that button and it's going to take it just a moment. Uh, of course it's going to come up and give me just a bit of an issue there it just wants to say that basically you've got to go through to the proceed and all that kind of stuff and here is our control drawings uh, you know that is something uh, that can make things a little handier I'm just waiting for things to populate here and you can see here we have our drawings available directly within our system and we can access these from any device you know I have had these pulled up on my phone and just to show you some examples here you can see some of the hardware points the connection points uh, from the particular devices I can see everything I can see all of my control drawings just from uh, directly within the system and just to give you an example of another way that it is very useful is uh, just to go into another one of our buildings and we have created a space here as well that uh, you know if I needed to do some work on uh, even some electrical work and if I can just if you just bear with me for just a moment there's a lot that I don't have on this particular graphic, but for example, I can pull directly into the electrical drawings for a VFD. And you know, there again, going through, doing some troubleshooting, this can be very, very handy. You know, if I needed to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So this is a very uh, useful feature within Metasys, within MUI especially and that way it gives you a little more flexibility and it can be just a little bit of a time saver uh, for your system you know just give yourself a little bit uh, I guess you could say of an advantage instead of having to hunt and drag out the uh, drawings for a particular building you know just have them directly as part of MUI and it will make things a whole lot easier a whole lot faster for you and you know just a bit of a time saver but guys this is just a quick video that I wanted to do to show this to you I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of questions so let's just uh, bear with me I'll try to run through a little bit of that information uh, but basically what I did on this working with one of our JCI techs as well as uh, someone for from our network security uh, we basically figured out exactly what we needed to do these these files had to go into a particular folder within the system uh, they have to go into the interpub folder into the www root folder that is inside of that and that way that will give you the permissions that you need 
uh, for being able to access these files remotely. And that is something that once you get those files in there, uh, you've also got to do some name changing. Don't have any kind of capital letters or spaces or anything like that. It doesn't seem to play nice if you have those things within your system. Uh, but it's very easy to do once you get it figured out. Uh, then you have to go through and do some uh, links. You've got to go through and build the links. And that's going to be different for every organization, just depending on how you access your organization's devices, uh, the servers, and that sort of thing. But guys, as you can see, they are there. They are live and they are very helpful. Guys, hope this is uh, something that is useful for you. If you have any questions, uh, leave those down in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can, but unfortunately, I do know that this is going to be uh, institutional or organizational specific, depending on how your system is set up. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Check out all of the links down in the description below. And we will see you next time.